Okay, what I'm going to do now is, is work out some uh, factors and I'm interested in the highest common factor of two numbers. And the two numbers I'm going to start off with are 6 and 15. Now, I need to find out the factors of 6 and 15 and factors are numbers that go into it, divide exactly into a number. So the factors of 6, uh, I'm going to write down uh, in these brackets here, I'm going to write down and in pairs, 1 times 6 is 6, so 1 and 6 both divide exactly into 6. And I also know that 2 and 3 uh, multiply together to make 6 and 2 times 3 uh, give me two more factors of 6, 2 and 3. So these are all the factors of 6. And I now need to do something similar to work out all the factors of 15. Uh, I can start by thinking about 1 and 15 because those two multiply together to make uh, 15. So there we go, those are two factors. Uh, and the only other two numbers that multiply together to make 15 are 3 and 5. Uh, those uh, two numbers are also factors of 15. Now, because I'm after the uh, common factor, and, and in particular the highest common factor, I need to look at numbers that happen to appear in both lists. Uh, 1 appears in both lists, and so does 3. So because I'm after the highest common factor, the highest common factor of 6 and 15 is 3. OK, I'm going to do another example of highest common factors uh, and this time I'm going to choose a couple of larger numbers uh, I'm going to look at the highest common factor of 20 and 30. Now there are a few more factors uh, that make up 20 so I need to go through step by step. Uh, I can start off with 1, 1 multiplied by 20 uh, gives me 20 so they're both factors of 20. I can now move along, uh, I know that 2 goes into uh, 20 10 times so there we go, two more, two more factors. 3 doesn't go into 20, but 4 does. I know 4 does, so 4 multiplied by 5. And you'll notice that because I'm, these numbers are getting larger and these numbers are getting smaller, I've kind of met myself in the middle. Uh, so I've gone through all the numbers, all the possible factors uh, of 20, uh, and I've found I've got a 6 in that list. So I'm now going to start doing the same thing with 30 uh, and work my way through now, 1 multiplied by 30 obviously gives me uh, 30, so those are the first two factors. Again, 30 being an even number is divided by 2, so 2 uh, multiplied by 15. This time, 3 does go into 30, so we say 3 multiplied by 10. Uh, 4 doesn't go into, four, into 30, uh, but 5 does, and 5 goes in uh, 6 times. I'm getting a little bit squashed up here, but I have actually met again in the middle. There are no other numbers, okay, because I know 5 uh, multiplied by 6. I've come down from the high numbers, up from the low numbers, and met myself in the middle. So I've actually found all the factors of 30. Now, I'm looking for the common factors, the ones that appear in both lists. So here I've got uh, 1 appears in both lists, 2 appears in both, li both lists, uh, 5 appears in both lists, and so does 10. And because I'm after the highest common factor, then the highest common factor is obviously 10. The highest common factor of 20 and 30 is 10.